Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our little theme we started yesterday with these image border style sections here or modules. They're pretty striking. I've done another one here with curved corners and it's actually got a parallax background. If you look at when I move up and down you can see that that background image behind there is moving at a different rate than our scroll speed. It's not fixed, it is actually moving, it's just moving, so that's true parallax. We can put CSS parallax, which is basically fixed background, but I think that's going to work for me. And I've left a little bit of opacity there on the actual message itself, so you can still see a bit of the image show through which makes the effect stand out a little bit better but of course it's all up to you however you want to do it so let's just save that and I'll show you how to do this I'm on a page I've got my visual builder open that lets us build on the front end here Divi is an absolutely awesome theme just keeps getting better and better with more and more features if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all I do suggest you check it out and if you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's add a text module. This is where I started. I'll recreate this. I guess I'll do it the opposite way around. And as with these above, I'm starting from the inside out. So I'm going to put the text in there first. I'm going to go down, get a text module. And as you can see from that, Divi comes with all kinds of modules straight out of the box. I'm going to delete some of this default text and just put in a title. And I'm going to select this left click and drag and make it a title 2 or heading 2 I should say. There we go so it's got a bit, bit of body there. Okay the next thing we want to do, what I'll do is I'll give it a bit of background now so you can see exactly what I'm doing and I'll change it to that color afterwards I'm just on the content tab going to go down a background and I'll just give it a, a black background you can see that and I'll make the writing white so it stands out so let's go to our design tab go to text I want all my text white so I'll just check white there we are I also want it to be central so if we scroll down a bit more there it is text alignment everything's in the center there now we made that h2 so if we go to heading text it's h2 or I can simply click on the little blue paintbrush that comes up here it'll take me to it as you can see I'm already there okay and that I also want to be white I want it to be bold and that's probably going to do it that's absolutely fine you can see what's going on there now now it's all squished up against the top and the sides so I'm going to add a bit of padding to give it a bit of breathing room just like we've got here so if we close up the heading just click on it left click it'll close spacing I'm going to give it padding 40 pixels everywhere 40 hit the chain it'll fill out the next one for you 40 you don't have to put px on the end it'll automatically do it for you if you want to use percentages just select that and type percentage in okay so as we can see we've got a bit more breathing room here which is exactly what I want okay so let's curve it opposite from this one so we'll have a round corner this side and around corner this side so if we go down to border click on it I want to uncheck this little box because with it checked it's going to do all four at once which is convenient if you're doing all four sides but I'm just doing individually I'm going to give it 40 picks actually I'm doing it opposite on I? so I want to leave that one alone and we'll do 40 on this one and again you don't have to write in pics it'll already automatically put it in there for you there we go that's the sort of mirror image of that one there okay well that's shaping up let's go and add an image now to do this I'm just gonna hit the little check mark there to save 
I'm going to work on the column that's actually behind this module, not the module itself. And to do that, I need to go up to this green tab up here. When you hover over, you'll see this green tab. Green is for the row settings. The dark one is for the module settings. And there's a blue one, if I, if I roll up a bit, which is the section settings. But I want the row settings, so I'm to simply click the cog. This is column two, column one, column two, column two, there it is. Let's hit the cog on column two. And for the background, let's put in an image. Color, gradient, image, video. If you wish to use a video, I'm gonna use an image. And I guess I'll use the same one as I used before. There we go. Okay. Now you might be looking and thinking, well, I can't see it. Well, you might see a little corner of it there. It's because this is filling all the available space of that actual column. So to get it to, so we can see our image behind there, we need to give that column a bit of padding, which will shrink this down inside so we can see the, the edges. So let's go to design tab. Let's go down to spacing and we'll give it a bit of padding. And again, I'm gonna use 40 pixels, keep it constant, 40, 40, check, there we go. There we go, you can see the image behind there now. Now we wanna mirror these corners here. I'll try 40, but it may not be enough. You may have, a, have to adjust because the radius may be slightly different there, but that's in the eye of whoever's doing it. So let's go down. Here's our column. We want border. I want to uncheck that. And again, we'll try 40, but and 40. Actually, that's not too bad. That might even work. With the outer ones, I sometimes put a little more on there. 50 and 50. Yeah, I think that looks slightly smoother. But again, it's all up to the eye who, of whoever's looking at it. All right. So we've got our basic layout there, but when we roll up and down, if you look at this one, it's parallax, so it moves at a different rate. This one's just static. And also, we can't see any of the image behind there. But while we're on the column, I think I'm going to go design. I'm going to shut up our border right there. I'm going to go down a box shadow and just add a little bit of box shadow you can adjust it I think I'm just going to use the default just like that that works for me yeah I think we'll use that one all right let's make this image parallax nothing to it if we go back to our content tab background which is where we put the image in itself little button use parallax effect Bunk. check that to yes now as you can see it's moving fantastic and like I say you can have true parallax or you can have CSS parallax which a lot of people have commented on my videos that's not true parallax well it's not true parallax it's css but it's also fixed background so that background is not actually moving it's just staying static but for the naysayers out there i call that css parallax or mock parallax if you don't like it call it what you want but for this today we'll use true parallax there we go that's moving up and down okay last but not least let's just add a bit of opacity to this dark background here so we can see a bit of the image through so again we need to save this and let's go to this module right here if you hover over it you'll see this pop up hit the cog for the module we're back in here now let's go down to our content go down to the background click on the black right there and these two little sliders will appear the one on the right is the opacity which is the sort of see-throughness if you will take it all the way down it'll be transparent there we go just want a little bit sort of feel of the image moving through save that 
Okay, well let's save and exit. If you haven't got this expanded, just click on it like that and go over to save. When it's saved, go up, exit the visual builder. Scroll down and let's see what we've got here. There we go, and I'll keep scrolling so you can see that parallax effect working there on those background images. So there we go, that's how to add another couple of image background frames using the parallax effect. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe. It lets me know how many more of these videos to do. If you're interested in web development, have a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium web development courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.